In this demo, I'll be walking you through how to set up, install, and configure Vagrant on your Windows machine. Now, before you get started here with this tutorial, you're going to have to have Git Bash installed on Windows. If you have not installed it, uh, go back a couple videos and you'll be able to find instructions on how to do that. So I'm going to go over to my machine and we'll go ahead and get it started installing and configuring Vagrant in Windows. I am at jaceacademy.com and I'm going to go ahead and click on this link here for the download page for Vagrant. Again, this link is also found below this video, so you can just click on that link and this will link you here to vagrantup.com forward slash downloads. And here you have a couple options to download uh, and install Vagrant. So for us, we, we're on a Windows machine, so we're going to go ahead and do Windows. And this is going to go ahead and start off that MSI file. The download has completed and I'm going to go ahead and start installing this package now. prompted if you want to execute this file I'm going to click run now we have to go ahead and walk through the vagrant setup wizard so I'm going to click accept make sure you go here to read through this license uh, that directory looks good to me and it's going to go ahead and install vagrant to continue you must allow the program to install on this computer click yes the setup wizard has finished, so you simply click finished. Then it's going to ask if you want to go ahead and restart your computer. I'm going to click yes, and I'll wait for this to restart now. Machine has booted back up. I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And you might not see any changes here besides, uh, besides if you go in down to the start menu and you try to look for Vagrant. But Vagrant, again, is a command line tool that we are going to use so in order for you to be able to access this command line tool you need to have a command line and the easiest way you can do this is by setting up git bash like i mentioned before so i'm going to open up git bash here and to verify that we can that bash can actually see vagrant you can simply type vagrant minus v and this will show you the version of the current version of vagrant which is 1.8.1 now, if you don't see this when you type Vagrant minus V, that means probably you didn't configure it correctly. You might want to rewind this video and start over again and see where you, uh, which step you did wrong. You can also do Vagrant version, which, should, which is going to go ahead and check with the versions that are available in your current version. As you can see, I have installed version 1.81 and the latest version is 1.8.1. So running the latest version of Vagrant. Now that's all there is. Now you'll be able to follow and configure Vagrant as you would um, in any of the Unix operating systems. So for example, on Mac or Linux.